Hey guys, today I'm going to do a versus video on these uh, two tattoo pins right here. We have the Bronk V8 from Hummingbird and we have the Mask Tour from Dragonhawk. They are both popular two pin machines on the market. You look on YouTube, you'll see a bunch of reviews on the Bronk V8. I even have my own review. You'll see a lot of reviews on the Mask Tour pin, which I also have my own review on this pin as well. This is also sort of a Hummingbird versus Dragonhawk pin machine uh, video, which we like compare of some. Uh, now, this I'm not going to say one's better than the other and blah 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 or yada yada yada. T trying to get away from saying blah blah blah, say that way too many times on my music, I mean, my tattoo videos. I don't know why I said music videos for, but I don't know, that slipped out or something. Well, anyways. These two pins right there are going to go to battle with each other in this video, so let's see something here. The reason why I chose these two pins is because they are got a lot of similar things in common with each other, to be honest. Like, the motors are different, but we're going to talk about that here pretty soon. And, well, let's just talk about the stuff these two pins have in common. First of all, both of these grips can be autoclaved or cold sterilized or chimiclaved as well. When it comes to a uh, needle throw, all you have to do, just turn the top right there with the, the mask tour. Also, when it comes to the Bronx V8, you just turn the top as well. So, those two. That's a pro on both machines right here. Okay, now let's talk about the price efficiency. Yes, this is a more expensive machine. This is in the $200 range, while this is in the $85 range. Um, and the thing is, because not only is two different companies, but also uh, this has a Swiss motor in it, and that has a premium Japanese motor in it, and Swiss motors are way more expensive than um, generic Japan motors, and yeah now if this had a actually a japanese brand motor in it like Toyota or cami or anything like that then this machine would probably be almost like 170 or something like that it would boost the price up a lot but it don't so yeah if dragon hawk made uh this exact model and put like a better motor in it they would make a lot, a lot, and lot of sales. But understand they're more like a budget friendly uh, company. And Hummingbird is also a budget friendly company as well too. But it's more the more expensive uh, budget friendly companies. I mean, they put more better components in their machines and motors in their machines. That's one of the reasons why. And um, somehow a lot of the Bronx uh, machines are usually in the $200 range, almost $300, and their cheaper end machines is like 150 to 70 and stuff like that, but there's reasons why. There's, they're like in the intro professional and the mid price uh, range machines as well, while Dragonhawk is more just budget friendly, bang for the buck uh, company. That's like, if you need a machine like real quick, real fast, and you need it in like two days, you can like just be on Amazon Prime or whatever, and there you have it to get you by. While like, let's say you have a big fancy FK iron machine or Cheyenne, and your Cheyenne machine has to be sent all back to Germany for um, to be fixed on or um, motor replacement or whatever, and you need something real quick, that's where Dragonhawk comes in. Bronk, well, Bronk, it, I'm just going to be honest. They are, their machines are worth way more money than what they sell their machines for. They're just one of them underdog companies that just want to be affordable machines, not too cheap, not too expensive, and just send them out on market. That's what them guys are doing. So I have respect for a Bronk a lot, or shall I say Hummingbird. These guys, they're trying to up their game and everything, so... I'm starting to give Dragonhawk a little credit, but yeah, I really did enjoy this machine biome. Like, I would honestly buy this machine again with the wireless uh, mass battery pack. I'd probably get the military edition one or something. Okay, 
Now we talked about the grips. Now we're just gonna plug them up, let you listen to them. Seven volts, extremely quiet, extremely smooth running. Let's set the box over here, guys. Now we're just gonna set it down right here. It might roll a little bit, but it'll eventually stop. Eh, there it goes, it stopped. Let's see how much vibration is in this machine. Of course, when it kicks on, it's going to have that little shock vibration. Look at it. No vibration at all. Oh, I kind of touched it, rolled, but look, my hands are not on it now. And look at it. Very little vibration. Than... It has almost no vibration to it, guys. And this makes an awesome color packer. That's why I like using this for. I do like using it for lining because it's very comfortable. I just got up the bolts, which is something I do not like about the machine because it has sort of like a soft medium hit, which I talked about that in the review with this machine. But anyways, and of course it has that little cool LED light. I love the LED light. I, when I put my covers over it and all that, my cords and stuff and I run it, it like, has this big shiny blue light that makes the clip cord cover look all cool and everything it catches people's attention I do like that but I really like this for stripple shading and color packing that's why I love this machine for lining with small groupings I like it small needles threes fives I love lining with this um, but I have to go up a little bit notch like the nine volts the get my lining the way I want. I mean, you can line on like six and seven volts with this, but that's if you have a very slow hand speed, which I talked about hand speeds in my other videos when I did reviews on both of these machines. So. Oh, and hook this. Wants to roll way too much. Put it next to its box. I'm gonna let you listen to this. Swiss motor. Very smooth running. And the Smith Swiss motor is a very powerful motor. This has a heavier hit. So like when you're working with uh, small groupings, like when it comes to lining, let's say five to seven round liners, you can do it perfectly on like seven volts or 8.5 volts if you're more of a speed liner. This can also pull even bigger liners up to uh, nine round liners, really smooth. Uh, lining with this machine is very awesome, like if you don't go past nine round liners. Like it can do bigger liners, but you have to like up the voltage a little bit more. But personally, I do all my lining on seven volts when it comes to like threes and fives. And I up it to like eight volts when I do like sevens and up and blah 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 well there I go with blah 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 again I'm gonna say yada 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 like New Yorkers this machine right here when it comes seven round liners and up I don't much use it that much for that because I got up at the like almost 10 volts for that and I'm afraid I'll blow the motor out so when it comes to the motors the Bronc wins there way better motor than this not complaining about this motor it's good for the price but um, if you want long activity, then long lifespan of a machine, then the Bronc is the way to go there. Um, the grips both come off, which if I do that, it's going to take forever because this machine, it takes forever for the grip to come off. This machine, it's really fast to come off. So when it comes to taking off the grip, this is another pro on this machine. Okay, I'm just going to list the pros and cons right now. Pros on this machine. Very tiny, very comfortable. The grip comes off very easily and it's very easy to bag. These are the pros on this machine and it's very price efficiency. Like you can get, um, you will not find another machine for 85 bucks that is good as this machine. Like when it comes to little $85 machines, this has to be the king of uh, the little guys. And well, that's all the good things I gotta say about this machine. And it's good for color packing, which I mentioned that a thousand times. 
This machine right here is a Wayfair liner. You can color pack with it and scribble shading with it. I like doing uh, pepper shades with it as well. It's uh, very comfortable in your hand as well. It's like carrying a big marker. That's what this machine feels like, is a marker. Um, it is taller than the mini machine as well. And that's all I gotta really say about these two machines when comparing them. So, um, Hopefully you like this video. If there's any questions you need to know, just put a comment down and just let me know, all right?